sure. Scriptures, all right. He took out the apocrypha, right. 
Okay, and what what do you push? Uh, uh, servants, uh, uh, yeah. slaves serve your masters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He pushed that heaven. Plantation Christianity, man. Yeah. At the end of the day, man. Hey, they showed you that in that movie, uh, uh, Birth of a Nation, man. All right. All right, because when he really started reading the screen, he said, wait a minute, man. He started coming back at the uh, at, at the at the slave uh, uh, master that was so called a preacher. He was coming back at him scripture for scripture. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But hey, that's that's that doctrine, man, that our people are caught up into until this very day. That's a stronghold. It's a stronghold, okay. bro. Come on. Let me get that stronghold, man. I can finish this that's up. That's uh, First Corinthians yeah. uh, ten. Yeah, yeah, 10, 10 so this is back in Colossians two and eight. It says, "Beware, lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit." After the tradition of men, See? after rudiments of the world, and not after Hamashiach. Yep. They haven't. No. Mm -hmm. You said the what? The tradition of men, right? Mm -hmm. Which when you go on to the uh, other religions, you see, that's, that's the, that's the, uh, read that again. Uh, God, this is back in Colossians 2 and 8. It says, but where at least any man spoil you through philosophy. Right, through what? Through philosophies, man. And, and guess what? Jake is caught up on it. That's why they join all these types of religions, such as Christianity, yep. or they become a Catholic. You know how many goddamn nominations it is? Come on, Ooh. man. Man. And, and you know everybody feel like they got the truth. And everybody feel like they, they, they truth is the truth. Yep. But it's only one truth. Right. You see? You got, you know, you know, got the. Uh, People want to be Muslims and shit. You know, the people tapping in to their hoodenism. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? A lot, a lot of people is caught up in, in, in philosophy that don't even concern their true salvation. We have a, our true salvation, which comes from the Holy Bible, man. Right? Yeah. Go ahead, though. Which is the word of Yahweh by Shema It says through philosophy in vain to see. After the tradition of men. Right, after the tradition of men, because Christianity was set up by the so-called white man. Yep. Yeah. It wasn't set up by the Heavenly Father that you see start with the apostles. You see this this is this is was set up for the spirit right here, man. You see them great men on the highways and the hedge of teaching? The Lord set them up, man. You see what the Lord say, you have not chosen me, but I have chosen you. But when you go into the holy houses, the yeah. churches what they do, they choose who they want to be pastors. Right. You know what I'm saying? The pimps and shit, the pimps used to be pimps. Now they what? Pastors. Yep. Because the, the game ain't the same. You know what I'm saying? So here it is. They changed their lives from being a pimp to start the what? The pimp, the, 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 the women in church. Yep. Hey, hey, because they, uh, they, they, they basically go to those, <clears throat> what do you call those? Seminary schools or? Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 you, yeah, yeah. You have to be called in this, man. Yeah. You know, hey, you have to be chosen to do this, man. To, to, to actually uh, uh, teach the word of your how about Shemel Shai. You can't just decide one day. Oh, I'm gonna yeah, be yeah, a I'm preacher. Gonna yeah, 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 I'm gonna teach the Bible. I'm gonna be a preacher. I'm gonna start me a church. You know, that's that's what niggas in the world do. That's what these uh, preachers and pastors do. Because what they 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 uh, uh, they they're smooth with their words. You know, they know how to uh, uh, bring. Talk a good guy. Yeah, yeah, they can talk. They, hey, they got the gift of gab. Uh, <laughs> what's the nigga name? Uh, 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 the, the nigga with the thick ass mustache. That the, uh, yeah, 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 from, uh, yeah, yeah. What's South Carolina? Carolina. Gino, Gino, Gino Jenkins. Gino Jenkins. Yeah. Gino, Gino hey, Jenkins. Hey, hey, um, um. He was smooth TDJ. talking. TDJ. Yeah, TDJ. Oh, These oh, niggas oh, are smooth. What's that dollar? Them niggas cold, they talk. Man, man, smooth man. talking snake oil salesman, man. Right. You know, they can sell they can sell you a, a, some swamp land in, in, in Louisiana, hey, man. Hey, you like, know what I'm saying? And like Jay Z said, I can sell these niggas, hey, these these niggas got that gift to gab, man. man. You got yeah. it out. Go ahead and finish that out. Come finish it now. It says uh back in uh, Colossians the second chapter, a verse finishing now. In vain deceit after the tradition of men, after the rudiments of the world. And not after Hamashiach. Exactly, yeah. see? So a lot of people following after the ways of this world. Mm -hmm. What the scriptures say? Follow not the multitude, do evil. Uh, 
You know what I'm saying? But that's what you got in, in Babylon the Great. A lot of people are flocking because the Lord said that the blind shall lead the blind, both shall fall in the ditch. Yeah. That, that you see that you seeing that being fulfilled before your eyes. Because we see that most of the people follow those that don't have the truth, yeah. but seem like they do. Yeah. You know? Because what? Uh, going back to what is that? Isaiah 20, uh, 29, 30? But it say uh, 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 they, they want to listen to smooth things. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Speak up to me, smooth things. Speak up to me, smooth yeah. things. Because that's what Jake wants to hear, man. 30. At the end of uh, Get there, brother. Cool. Bring that out. This is uh, Isaiah 30, and I start at verse 9. It says. Uh, I forgot at verse 8. It says, Now go write it before them in a table and note it in a book that it may be for the time to come forever and ever that this is a rebellious people. See, Jake is rebellious, man. Jake don't want to hear the truth. Right. When you tell them what's, what's right, they buck up. Mm -hmm. That's how you know, that's how we know who the Israelites are, man. Mm -hmm. Our people are bucking up into being the, the greatest nation on the planet. Oh, no, no, everybody can make it. Jake slobbing at the mother. Let the mother can make it, brother. Right. <laughs> you know? You right. got it up. Hey, what's up with you niggas want to save He's everybody up. anyway, though? Look where the fuck you come from. Yeah. And how they treat you. But here it is. You got the mindset of trying to save the next uh, uh, nation. You know what I'm saying? That's where it goes back to that word called Stockholm Syndrome, man. That's right. <laughs> hey, if I may add. That's like everybody, Jake want to say everybody, but that's like Jake getting a paycheck. Is you going to split it with everybody? Right, yeah, like, hell no. Nah. Nah. <laughs> so what, you got bills to pay? Is everybody you know? going to pay your bills? Hell no. Nah. 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 It ain't no everybody. That's, that's your bills. Right? <laughs> Come no. on, man. This shit don't make no sense. Nah. But why? Why they in that mindset? How they get in that mindset? Esau eat them. Right. Do what? Christianity. Uh -huh. Going back to what? They love doctrine. Now we gotta get to that love doctrine. I right, get that Amos right. uh right, let him finish here. Right, yeah, okay, then we we'll get to that love doctrine. This is Isaiah 30 and 9, that this is a rebellious people, lying children, children that that would not hear the law of the Lord, which say to the seers, see not, and to the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things. See, prophesize not unto us right things. Yeah. But what they say? Speak unto us smooth things. Prophesied deceit. Speaking to smooth things. Prophesied deceit. Jake love hearing that smooth talk. Oh, this is gonna be your year. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and the rock. <laughs> and just pay them tithes. Right. And then you gonna you gonna get your get your blessing. Yeah. God's got a blessing with your name on it. Yeah. <laughs> hey, they 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 gonna they love that. They, they, they love that. that hot cakes, man. Man, Jake in the church, man, crying. You know, walking oh, no, down. Hey, you know, hey. man, you remember that? No, 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 yeah, yeah, we we walking down the aisle crying and shit. You know, they hold the microphone up. Pastor, you know, <laughs> <laughs> the yeah, truth. Yeah, what did you, what, what did Jesus Christ do for you? <laughs> hey, that shit funny though, bro. Man, man, you know, you actually seen that. Uh, you know, saying in the Christian church. So I close that though. Yep. But we yep. understand we understand the truth, man. Hey, the word is what's gonna uh uh purify us, man. Bullshit. <laughs> yeah, the word is what's gonna purify us, man, at the end of the day. Uh -huh. Alright? Hey, because what 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 is it? The word Yahweh Shai is the word, man. Right. So if you can hear this word, if you can understand this word, man, that means you it's a possibility. You are you are yeah, that yeah. chosen, man. You are that uh Lord, the Lord's flock, man. Yeah. You are of his uh uh sheep that can hear his voice. Yeah. You know, Israel, man. Mm -hmm. That's why it ain't about color, it ain't about none of that bullshit, man. It's about it's about being able to uh uh, uh have the spirit, yeah. To receive this truth, man. That's it. That's what it's all about. Bottom line, at the end of the day, man, if your spirit bear witness with this truth, man, hey, it, it's, it's a possibility you, yeah, you, you're an Israelite more than likely, and on top of that, you could be the elect, man. Yeah, yeah. Y'all brothers got it. This Amos chapter three verse one, 
heard this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I known of all the families of the earth, therefore will I punish you for all your iniquities. Yeah, you only have I known, man. The Lord is only dealing with Israel, man. Point blank, period, man. No other nation is the Lord dealing with, man. At the end of the day, man, it's just like with your kids, man. The Lord is only dealing with uh, uh, his children, man. Okay? These other nations mean nothing to the Lord. Hey, yep. Yeah, like I say, uh, uh, God love everybody. You know, because, you know, love is a strong word. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Love is an action word. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That a lot of people don't really show. Because you truly love the Lord, what would you be doing? Keeping his commandments. You know what I'm saying? That's why I say God don't love everybody. But the love that Christianity push is a love of emotion. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? No, the Lord don't have emotions. The Lord is a fucking man. Women have emotions, man. You see that? We have to deal with logic. You know, we actually had to apply the scriptures when it's time to make a move. Women don't apply the scriptures. All right, when it's time to make a move. They think we're up here. No, we do this. Remember, this is our defense. You know, because therefore we will never be what? Confounded. You know what I'm talking about? That's how the Lord rock, man. That's how the Lord move. Uh, you got what I asked for? Uh, 1 Kings 15. Because they say the, the, the Lord, Yahweh love it, uh, Israel, and he said upon, uh, uh, I think I got one another guy. Is it 1 Kings 10 and 9? I think so. Yep, you're right. Go ahead. It's 1 Kings 10 and 9. Yep. Blessed be the Lord thy power, Yahweh Shemar Shah, which delighteth in thee to sit thee on the throne of Israel, because the Lord loved Israel. You see that? Yep. Because the what? The Lord loved Israel. God love Israel, man. You see that? So that's why he set the king upon the throne. He set King David. He set King Solomon. Now he's been said Yahweh was shot. Why? Because he loved finish that out. Because he loved Israel, man. Go ahead. Because the Lord loved Israel forever, therefore made he the king to do judgment and justice. You see that? So how God love everybody? No, God only love you so-called Negroes, Latino, Native American, Hispanics, man. Just say he love Israel. He didn't say everybody. He didn't say all the nations. He said he love Israel, man. So how the fuck God love everybody? When God just said he only love Israel. What 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 happened? Christianity messed the mind of our people up, man. We got gratitude for the man. Yeah, yeah, you got it. No, I, uh, okay. I'm just speaking. You oh, got to get okay, through okay. this, okay. Go ahead. I got a precept back you up on um, how the Lord, how about Shem, how shall love Israel. Oh. So this is Malachi chapter 1, and Ooh. I started verse 1. The yeah. burden of the word of the Lord to Israel mm. by Malachi. Right. I have loved you, says the Lord, you how about Shem, how about Nah, nah, God said he loved everybody. Nah. What that precept say, y'all? Uh? This is Malachi 1 and 2. I have loved Zalaki. This is Malachi 1 and 1. The burden of the Lord, the burden of the word of the Lord to Israel by Malachi. I have loved you, mm. says the Lord. Yet ye say, wherein has thou loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother, oh. says the Lord? Uh -oh. Yet I loved Jacob, oh. and I hated Esau. Oh. And laid his mountains right. and his and heritage that, that waste. Go right with uh, Romans nine and thirteen. Yeah. Man. Mm, yeah. It said, "Yet have I loved you, and I hated who? Esau. Esau. And, and what, what, what book you reading out of? This, hey, I, I thought God loved everybody. Chapter one. That's the Old Testament, right? Yeah. yeah. Let's get it in the New Testament. Right. Hey, uh, get there, bro. I thought God loved everybody, man. God is our love. Yeah, cause you gotta make these examples like this. Because you got to put it in Jake's mind. Because what it's going to say right here, it's going to refer back to the Old Testament. Yeah. To validate that the Old Testament is still what? Relevant. 
You see that? Yep. That's what you got to do to Jay. Because this is one of Apostle Paul's favorite sayings that he going to say. Get it. This is Romans 9 and 13. As it were written. You see, that's Apostle Paul's favorite. Remember, when they was walking in the time, the New Testament was written. It was they had the Old Testament. So they had, they had to refer back to the old what? The Old Testament. Right. So the Apostle Paul said, as it was written. What was written there in the Old Testament, man? All right? Go ahead. That's to your Old Testament only. And it's to your only New Testament only. No, nigga. The whole book. Right. It said what again? Uh, this is Romans 9 and 13. As it is written, Jacob have I loved. Got it, man. But Esau have I hated. Yep. Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated, man. Right. That's that's simple right there, man. That's plain. You can't get around that, man. That was one of the first scriptures that made me know. I was like, man, I've been lied to. Christianity got me, man. What what, what you mean? I thought God loves everybody. The scripture just clearly said, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. Get around that. You can't get around that. And I don't want a new testament. <laughs> Take that to your pastor, man. Romans 9 and 13, look, look, look. man. It's in both books. Right. <laughs> hey, let, let him explain that to you, man. I want to see him get around that. But uh, I got one. All right, what you, what you got out? This is uh, Deuteronomy. Because that was the point, right? Yeah, that was it. All right, this is Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Uh, Mm. For thou art a holy people, and to the Lord thy power. The Lord thy power have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself, above all the people that are upon the face of the earth. Above, meaning better than, over. <laughs> if you above somebody, that means you over them, man. You don't, you gotta you gotta just read this book and, and, and keep it in context on what the Lord is saying, man. That's right, bro. You know? How, how, what what a love everybody right there if he said one person over the other. Yeah. He put he put at? one people above the other. I'm gonna keep going, bro. I know that was your woman to say, How you love me? And you, you got her woo woo. <laughs> yeah, he got her Come too. On. Same thing, right? I love, I love both y'all. Same thing, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying how a woman to say, how you love me, hey, and you going to mess up with us. That's what a woman to say, right? Yeah. Now, now put yeah. it into that. So no, the Lord, the Lord only loves Lord. Israel, man. Okay. All right. All right. Go ahead, Doc. I'm going to keep going on this, though. <clears throat> Salaki, it says, uh, Deuteronomy 7 and 7, The Lord did not set his love upon you, nor choose you, because you were more in number than any than any people for ye were the fewest of our people but because the Lord loved you and because he would keep the oath which he has sworn unto your fathers hath the Lord brought you out of out with a mighty hand and redeemed you out of the hand out of the house of bondmen from the hand of Pharaoh king of Egypt now therefore that the Lord thy power, he is he is power, the faithful power, which keepeth covenant and mercy with them that love him and his commandments to a thousand generations. So hey, the Lord is not gonna uh hey that's what is that, Malachi three and six, man. He does he doesn't change, man. He's the same power. Okay? His covenant is with Israel. So, Why? Because he loved. That's it. it. He chose them. That's right. He chose Israel. At the end of the day, man, that's the reason. <laughs> it's yeah. for his name's sake. Yeah, he got one real quick for Yep. But that's that was it. That was the point. This is Hosea eleven and one. Mm. When Israel was a child, then I loved him and called my son out of Egypt. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Because he what? He loved. Yep. But what is love according to the scriptures? You see that? What is love according to the scriptures? Remember, the Lord have loved us. So when you love someone, you, you, you what? You discipline them. You give them, you know what I'm saying, rules and regulations to what? To follow. 
So this this is the, the symbolization of law of that you man because that's what the Lord gave us to fall on earth. Right. You know, you know how somebody come to your house like, hey man, you can do this, but you can't do that. You know, so you can do this, but you can't do that. That's the heavenly father. He gave us laws, statutes, and commandments, how to govern ourselves. He yep. gave us laws, he gave us something that we can do, and he gave us laws that what we can't do. Right. You see that? Why? Because he loved us, man. Yep. Jacob. Uh, hey, like like it tells you in uh Damn, is that Romans 7? Where it say the law is holy and just? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because hey, the, the Lord set the law up. For a reason, you know, and the law is set up for a reason. When, when you eat pork, when you eat shrimp, and all these things, it fucks up your body, man. The well, Lord said, "Stay away from that." Yeah, stay away from that, man. Why? Why would you do something that's going to destroy you, man? You know, the Lord's looking out for us. Yeah, he, he he set it up to be, you know, perfect for us, but yeah. we're not we're we're not in that in that uh 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 those spiritual uh bodies. You know what we that? You know what killed that? Uh, uh, Isaiah, he said, uh, my ways is not your ways. Right. Oh, yeah. Eating my thoughts, my thoughts. Because Jay can't, uh, Jay can't fathom why not to eat pork when they grew up on it. You know what I'm saying? Until they start to feel the effect of it. Yep. Start having gout, high blood mm -hmm. pressure. Oh, now you see. Now you see why I told you not to do you it. You see that? Just like with your children. Sometimes, man, you have to let them see things but they and see learn the hard way. For them to understand. That's it. Then, then, then they see. It's like, damn. Okay, now I see why uh, Daddy told me not to do this. <laughs> my mama said not to do this. Hey, if I may add, hey, that's what Daddy and Mama say. See, I told you. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how you all about you know what I'm saying? Yeah. This time, yeah. you know. But Jake gotta learn the hard way, and Jake gonna learn the hard way. Jake gonna learn the hard oh, way, man. You gonna have to get your ass. Yeah. Burnt up in fire, yeah, man, yeah, in yeah, order yeah. to get the truth, man. Yeah, in order to get it. Yeah, yeah, I got one real quick. Yeah, that death by pain, man. I got one. You got the, if you love me, keep my commandments. If you love me, keep my okay. commandments. This is John. Hold on, what you got, Ica? Uh, I got a quick one. This, this is uh, Sirach 17, 17. It says, for the, the division of the nations of the whole earth, he set a ruler over every people. Mm. But Israel is the Lord's portion. Ooh, Just going back that. to that, you it's know, Deuteronomy 7 and 6, man. Hey, hey. At the end showing of the favoritism. Day, yeah. Is that not love? Showing favoritism? Yep. You got it out. Yeah, hey, you said it, bro. That was it, man. Yeah. Hey, we, 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 the Lord chose Israel at the end of the day, man. You know, ain't no other nation can slide into the covenant, mm -hmm. and nobody else can can just say, "Well, uh, we believe too, so we joint heirs, we are part of the uh, uh, of the blessings." Right. No, because you're not catching the uh, you're not you're not a part of the uh, curses right now. Who are the curses hit, man? Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, man, the confusion of faith, Jakes, man. That's it. So like it. Uh, the uh, uh, speckle bird jakes, man. Okay. All right? Yeah. But that's it. That, that's, you know, but you see Esau on a low level uh, starting to receive the curses. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But yeah. You know how Jacob tried to use that. You know, somebody for a escape route. No, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Or, or, or look at it or on a worldwide scale. Who right. catching that type of hell, man? Us. You know what I'm saying? Yep. But you go to that John, because we got to get into love. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. This is John 14 and 15. If you love me, keep my commandments. You said what? This is John 14 and 15. If you love me, keep my commandments. Right, because that is true love. That's why the Lord said that. You got Psalms 147? Yeah. Go ahead. This is Psalms 147 starting in verse 18. He said, because love is keeping the commandments. Watch this. Go ahead. He sent him out his word and, and built it down. He caused it, his wind to blow and the water flow. He showed his words unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgment unto Israel. Mm. He has not dealt so with any nation. So what is love though? Keeping the commandments, right? Mm -hmm. He just said he showed his words to Jacob, his laws and his statutes and his commandments to Israel. You see that? That is love. Go ahead. He has not dealt so with any nation. Lord, he don't love no one but who? 
You so called Negro, Latino, Native American, Spanish. It's, it's plain. Good, huh? It's plain. Right. Oh, shit. I got As for his judgments, they have not known them. Exactly. You know how you got, um, you know, if you grew up in a house, like I grew up in a house, you know what I'm saying, my mom, shit, my brother now, but then we had God brothers. You know what I'm saying? Yep, yep, but yep. you can tell the different blood they carry. Between your own and other yeah, Exactly. Yeah. yeah, my mama, she loved them too, but she cared about them, but she loved us because we was her own. That's, that's, that's the same way as you have by Shemal Shah. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He, he, he set us up because he loved us. But yeah, he gave them what he gave them. So yeah, he cared. Okay, yeah, I get y'all there. You know what I'm saying? But the whole time, he have given us the kingdom of heaven, which yeah. is a kingdom that's going to last forever and forever and forever. Why? Because he loved us. That's right, bro. He, you already read that in, 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 um, in Deuteronomy 76. Yep. Right. You see that? And Hosea. Right. Because he loved us. But you see how he gave the other nations the shit they got. Yeah, that's mercy too, man. That's mercy. Because, because, like, the Lord still, still, he still showed these other nations mercy by giving them that, that time to rule exactly. too, man. Exactly, see? <laughs> you can't love, say the though. Lord ain't balanced, man. But who he loved? Well, he loved yeah. us. Because Israel going to come in at the end and get everything, man. But nobody uh, 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 be able to say, well, you know, he, he didn't, he didn't, you didn't show me no love, though. Uh -huh. What well, my train at? Right. You had your time. You had your time. <laughs> All right, grab uh, I got, uh, Isaiah 40, 15. That'll be God's love everybody. Hey, I got it. That's, that's spirit. I got that. Too. Go ahead, go ahead. This is Isaiah 40 and 15. It says, Behold, the nations, the nations are as a... <coughs> a drop of a bucket. <coughs> it says, and are counted as a small dust of the balance. See, what a love, man. But you just sit here, you'll be arguing with a nigga all day. You know what I'm saying? You'll argue with a nigga all day if you bring the precept out right here. Because of the, 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 the because of the deceit that they've been taught. You know what I'm saying? By the so-called white man through Christianity of our own people, man. It said the leaders of our people called them the earth. That's right. The leaders of our people, all right? The, the, the poor child pastor eating, you know what I'm saying, down the street from you, pastors, yeah. man. Hey, and I, if I can say this, I don't mean to cut you off, bro, but most of these uh, preachers and pastors, man, they want to they wanna, uh, come up just like the nigga that's trying to sell his rap album, man, that's, that's trying to, uh, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah they're uh, trying, to, uh, they're trying to come on the cover. Just, just like that nigga that got robbed and that yeah, church, yeah. that preacher. He flies in with the gold chains, man, got the big boy necklace, Family all off of the church, them. man. Yeah. And then, hey. and then, and then, and uh, then uh, the, the hood niggas came in there and robbed your ass, hey. man. How he the man of the Lord, though? You think the <laughs> Lord would allow a man of the Lord to, to go yeah, through that embarrassment yeah. like that? Right. That's an embarrassment, man. Here it is, you say, hey, man. You, are, you, are, you are a man of the Lord, and look what happened to you. Right. You got oh, stuck lie. up, nigga. <laughs> you got stuck up. Come on, man. Live TV in the middle of the, in the, middle of the sermon. Get that up, nigga. Yeah, man. Hey, each time, each, hey, look, you know, my, 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 you know, my life, each time the Lord allowed me oh, to receive, you know what I'm saying, to get, get back my stuff, when Jake tried to steal my car, yeah. you know what I'm saying, the Lord put the spirit on me every time, bro, I was done to, to, to stop it. Right, get it back. You know what I'm saying? And they didn't do it in the air, they do it while I went, I went in the car. Right. But the Lord right. allowed me to, 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 he tapped in there like, hey, somebody doing something. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was able to go and catch him in the act. Yep. You, know, you know what I did, but the water you have out shot, I was able to get my shit back. Yep. This nigga got embarrassed, man. This nigga man. got, man, nigga came in the yard. Man, look, I got a precept. This is Acts 7 and 48. <laughs> How be it the most high dwelleth not in temples made with hands, as said the prophets. Right. So hey, the Lord ain't in that church, man. If yeah. it was, you wouldn't have got stuck up like that, exactly. Jack. Uh oh, why? Because it wasn't saying song. The 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 angel kept around. kept it around about yeah. them that what? Fear, fear, fear the Lord. Hey, that hey, nigga, that nigga didn't fear the Lord. Hey, them niggas right in there. They go, they didn't yeah. go. Yeah, see? He still got the chain, okay, though. 
Hey, he in Proverbs 16 and 9. Oh, he said, he said, he said, uh, when the Lord, when a man waves in the peace of the Lord, he may what? Make his enemies to be at peace with him. Exactly. The enemy just don't mean the so-called white man, even that's though right. that's the main enemy, nigga. Your enemy could be the nigga that look like you too, nigga. Right. You see? Right. But if you're waving peace of the Lord, what? He may even your enemy be at peace with you. Right. Come on, man. Yeah. So all of that nigga would, ain't a man of love, man. That nigga doing some... Some bogus shit, man. Yeah. Uh, the Lord allow them niggas to come and rob his ass online. Right. Mm. Middle of the time. Let me give it up. Man. But uh, going back to Isaiah 40 and 15, it says, <clears throat> Behold, the nation's eye is a drop of a bucket, uh. and I count it as a small dust of the balance. Behold, he take up the owls as a very little thing. Lebanon is not uh, sufficient to burn, nor the beast does sufficient for a burnt offering. All nations before him are as nothing. What a love that. And are counted to him less than nothing and vanity. Come on, Come on, hey, less than nothing. What's less than nothing? Yeah. Vanity. Vanity. <laughs> That's nothing. I thought you loved him. No. Oh, yeah. Dust on the battlefield. You know blow the dust off. Man. That's, that's what the Lord feel about the nations, man. I used you. Yeah. <laughs> that's it, man. All right. This is the, uh, and we're going to go on the next, the, the next question that a Christian to ask you when they're going to uh, everyone can be saved. <clears throat> right. Now, we know according to the, to the scriptures, Everybody can't be saved. Even all Israel is not going to be saved and deliver on this side. Right. But they will be saved in the kingdom of heaven because what? They're going to be brought back through the loins of the elect. But on this side, no, sir. All right? Everyone cannot be saved, man. But we're going to get it to it. Go ahead, Doc. It's in chapter 1, verse 21. And she shall bring forth a son. And thou shalt call his name Yahweh Shai, yeah. for he shall save his people. He shall save his people. Possessive pronoun. Possessive pronoun. <laughs> his people. Not all people, not all nations. His people. <laughs> what does it say? His people from their sins. From their sins, man. Come on. You can't get around that, man. Some of these scriptures you just got to read and take it for what it is, man. This is one of them. Matthew 1 and 21. The Lord is coming to save his people, man. Israel. Alright? Our nations are not in that. In on that, man. Right, brother. <laughs> Point blank period. Right. You got the next one? Yeah, yeah. Isaiah 45 and 7. <clears throat> this is Isaiah chapter 45 and verse uh, 17. 17. 17 God. But Israel shall be saved. Yep, and Israel the Lord shall be saved. And the Lord, you have by Shem, you have a shy with the everlasting salvation. Come on, man. Ye shall not be ashamed, nor confound your world without end. That's right. That's yeah. plain, man. That's Israel right here. Yeah. Stop from Judah all the way down to Issachar. You saw God, Negroes, West Indian, Haitian, Dominican, on down, man. Puerto Rican. All right, Guatemala. You know, you got the Mexicans. You see that? This Israel the Lord is talking about, man. Yep. So where the hell you get everybody from? Everybody not fitting them nations right there, man. <laughs> That's one nation. Right. And many. Right. You see? You got it out. It's Romans 11 and 26. And so all uh, Israel shall be saved yep. as it is written. <clears throat> what? And so all uh, Israel shall be saved as it is written. Hey, matter of fact, as it you're going to look at what it's saying, but at the monitor. Oh, what, what it's saying, as it is oh, written, man. Yeah, we got to get the word saved, because you got the Christians talking about they saved already, too. Well, no, uh, saved from what? I got you out. It's a save in the etymology 12th century. It goes to, to deliver from some danger, Woo. to rescue from peril. The danger ain't even came in, so how the fuck you saved already? Jacob Trump ain't even here yet. So how are you saved already? Come on. It said he did do it to the end. The same shall, shall be saved, saved, man. Come on, man. What the hell? Like you say, what the hell are you saved from? Saved from what? Esau ain't even came down with great wrath yet. 
you niggas gonna need and saving. We we've been uh showing in the group chat. You got Esau got fucking dogs with with uh machine guns on them, bro. You got you got mutant uh uh teenage mutant ninja turtle troops out here, man. Yeah. That that's that's ready to come down on Jake Head, man. Seems he gonna have you amp, he gonna have them motherfuckers amped up with all type of uh 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 juice uh <laughs> mixtures, man. Ready to just go in, man. They're gonna see nothing but red when they see you niggas, man. man. But you saved though. They gonna be looking at your ass like this a picture the brother got over here with Scarface, man. <laughs> you know? <laughs> dumping dumping on you, Jakes, man. That's right, man. Yeah, they ain't gonna hold back. They not gonna hold back. Hey, the scriptures tell you. They gonna be like madmen sparing none, man. We we coming into some real bad and harsh times, man. To where Jake is gonna need you gonna first of all you gonna have to have the name of the Lord first and foremost, man. The, 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 you gonna have to have the, the one you gonna have to cry upon and call upon to to get your ass out of the situation that you're in. That's right, bro. You know, if you ain't got the name, you already through. So a whole lot of Jakes, that's that's gonna throw a whole lot of you niggas out of there from Jump Street, man. You ain't even got the name right. Uh -huh. You don't know who to call, call upon, man. That's right, bro. You know? Yeah. But you got Jake it, bro. Jake through, man. Jake through, man. Ahead, man. It's say sad it. to say, but hey, this is this is the script, man. Ultimately, man, this is this is what the Lord wants, man. That's right. You know, this is His will. That's right. Well, uh, 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 Isaiah forty six and ten, man. <laughs> You know, I, I, uh, the Lord, the Lord's counsel shall stand, man. He's gonna do His pleasure. This is this is what He wants to happen. So you know? can't be saved. So everybody can't be saved, man. You know, it's written what they did, Zechariah thirteen and eight. Right. It's written by two thirds to Come the on, so How can everyone be saved or anyone? On, you know what I'm saying? When it's written for the heathen to be destroyed, how can everyone be saved? Oh, what what, what oh, you man. say? Uh, my name is dreadful among the heathen. He not even gonna let the, uh, the heathen can't even say the name of the Lord, man. Hey, but look, he said he come for the lost. I was right here, Matthew 18 um, and 11, brother put it up on the coming board. It say, for the son of man is come to save them, which is what's lost. Yep. And who, he said, the lost, the what, uh, the uh, lost sheep of the house of Israel. Israel. The lost sheep of the house of Israel, man, that's yep. it. So what a love is for the other nation. Right. Why? Can everyone be saved when the Lord say he only came to them that are lost? Who was lost? It's Israel was lost, man. We discontinued from my inheritance. You see? Hey, like that old church song, I once was lost, but now I'm uh, found. Yeah. Was blind, but now, now I, I see. see. Yeah. Hey, the Lord the Lord opened up the eyes of the ones that, that he's going to uh, 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 get that mercy to, man. Hey, great for the cluster. That great for the cluster, man. <laughs> hey, hey, Lord willing, we ain't doing to the end because that don't, just because you got it now don't mean that hey automatically uh well I'm gonna make it. I'm good. No, we don't know. We praying and hoping as well, man. We hoping we can be saved, man. You know. Let's keep going, brother. What else we got? We got uh, Isaiah. We got now the uh, heaven to hell doctrine. That on, just, that's, you know, oh, we're going to keep it on a plain level field. Mm -hmm. oh. We can get deep into that. But we're just really just trying to get the basis of the heaven to hell doctrine. Because Christianity, that's what really uh, took Christianity or so told see, their fairy tale doctrine right there. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Jake loved to, yeah. to believe that. Heaven and hell, man, that's that's a that's a major stronghold by people, man. Yeah. Because, like I said, you got people that are 50, 60 years old still believing it's a place where you go and burn forever, uh, uh, your spirit goes and burns forever, man. Yeah. Which, what, what mercy is that? Do that make any sense? Yeah, that make the Lord unbalanced. Hold up, man. <laughs> yeah, I got you know it, saying? bro. That make the Lord unbalanced. Got it, you got something real quick? Uh, no, I'll just hold it, Joe, first shot. All right, go ahead, now. This is Isaiah 14 and 12. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer? Son of the morning. Right, and we go to where heaven is meaning his rulership. All right, how thou follow from heaven, O Lucifer? Lucifer means life bearer. See what it is. You got to get to the. You have to get to the, uh, the definition of these words. 
You know what I'm saying? So when you know the, the definition of these words, you can uh, extrapolate more. Right. You know what I'm saying? You can actually move more in the scriptures than more in the spirit when you got a certain understanding of certain words. Right. So now you know that heaven is a condition, all right? And then you got Lucifer, meaning light barrier, the enlightened one, meaning what is now is more than one person. You see, because you know Satan got a physical counterpart on earth. So he said, oh Lucifer, all right, how did I follow from heaven? How did I follow from that rulership? Yep. You see, because Yahweh Shah is coming to take this devil out of power. All right? Go ahead. How art thou cut down to the ground? How did I cut down from the ground? What did it is, Isaiah 31? Yes. When it speaks about uh, he going to uh, come sit in the dust over the yep. door of Babylon. Yep. Yes. He would no yes. more. Uh, uh, nah, 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 nah. That's, nah. that, that's nah, a two yeah. different types of precepts. But I know it say, uh, uh, come sit in the dust. Oh, uh, I thought that was, uh, uh, Babylon, uh, he would cut the hours. Uh, yeah. Because I know, I know, and, uh, Malachi 4, uh, it speaks about leaving no root or branch. Yeah, this one says, uh, 47 and 1 says, come down and sit in the that's dust. It, that's, that's it, that's it, that's it. Oh, virgin daughter of Babylon, that's it. Yeah. sit on the ground, there is no throne. You see that what? There is no throne. It says sit on the ground. That means what? A uh, 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 place of confusion. Right. You see that? It says sit on the ground because what? There's no throne. So how did I fall from heaven? How did I fall from that rulership? Because the Lord is doing this. Man. It said did what? Weaken the nation, right? Yeah. How did he weaken the nation? Through his philosophies. Through Christianity. <clears throat> you see? Yeah. Go ahead. Oh, daughter of the Chaldeans. Right, who is the modern day Chaldean? The Edomites, man. Go ahead. Um, it says, For thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. Yeah, great whore. See, this bitch still ain't been bombed yet. That's why I still called tender and delicate. All right? Go ahead. Let's sit on that. A little more. All right. It says, Take the millstones and grind mill. Yeah, hey, hey, Uncover we, we, that's how we shot. Go ahead. Uncover the locks. Yeah. Make bare the leg. Yeah. Uncover thy thigh. Right, and we doing that through the spirit. Why I said that's how we shot. Because through great millstone, what, 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 what a millstone do is grind. Right. You see that? We working. We laboring. You see that? And yep. we doing the labor. What? We uncovering the locks. We uncovering the secret places. We revealing. The, the son of perdition. Yep. Being said that we can be revealed. You see that? You see that? That's how we doing it. Through the what? Through the spirit of power. How about your mouth shot? You know? Go ahead, I said, pass over the rivers. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered. Well, who nakedness? Esau nakedness. So how did I fall from what? Thy rulership? Because the prophets out here standing boldly. All right? Prophet signed against Mount Syria. So as we prophesying like the time of Jericho, well, we turn this bitch down. Yep. You got it up. It says, Yea, that shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance, and I shall, and I will not meet thee as a man. Ooh, they're talking Ooh. about the Lord and Savior. I was shot. Well, go man. ahead, yeah. this, is, this is Isaiah 14, finishing up on 12, which did his weaken the nation. How did he weaken the nation? Through his power. Remember, he was going to be, his power, his blessing was the feathers of the earth. And the door of heaven, and by the sword he should live. So that's how he weakened the nation. All right, through his what? His deception. Remember, he said he's gonna be loose for a little seed to deceive the nation, right? So that's how he weakened them, man, with that sharp pork tongue. But yep, thou hast said in thy heart, I will ascend into heaven. I would exalt my throne above the stars uh -huh. of the Most High. I will sit also upon the mountain of the congregation. And then the sides of the north. Exactly, that happened. All right, that's why he got no space station. He said it next among the stars. But when the Lord said to Obadiah, when he done that, he was going to break him down. All right? Uh, go to Revelation 20 and 14. Yeah, Amos 9 and 2. I got one too, bro. This is Revelation chapter 20 and verse 14. And it reads, And death and hell mm. 
were cast into the lake of fire. Now how the hell? <laughs> right. Death uh, and hell. The whole, the whole, the uh, whole uh, place. place of hell was cast in the lake of fire, man. Right. Hey, what? That don't even make no sense. That don't make it's sense. It's through Christianity way of thinking. That don't even make no sense. But we understand what death and hell be cast in like a fire, man. All right, that's the, the Babylon the Great. All right, they're gonna be cast to the lake of fire, man. Go ahead, out. And it says, this is the second death. This is the what? The second death. This is the second death. The first death was what by water. See that? That's how you know it's talking about Babylon the Great and everything in it. You know, because Esau is the representation of death. Right. Because yep. say everywhere he go, what death yep. follow him? Yep. And even though, and he gonna be cast to the fucking lake of fire, but the Lord gonna save a remnant, but to fulfill prophecy. Uh, uh, Amos nine and two. It's Amos chapter nine, verse two. Peter 3, 13. Though they dig into hell, then shall our <laughs> mind hand take oh, them. Hold up, hold up. You mean to tell me they can hell with a shovel? <laughs> they yeah, yeah, yeah. Hot them up. He, he down there burning already <laughs> on fire, digging in. Hey, 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 <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Christianity got you believing that, man. man though they dig into hell, Amos yeah. 9 and 2, though they dig into hell, thence will I mine hand take them. Though they climb up to heaven, thence will I bring them down. Yeah. That's brutal, Bob. That's yeah, brutal. Man. That, that hell is talking about the grave, all right? And yeah. heaven, man, is, is the, uh, you, you have two versions of the heavens, man. Three actually. Yeah. You got the uh, uh, spiritual the spiritual, world. Yep, the spiritual yeah. world. You got the skies. Right. Okay. I'm and uh, what's the, 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 kingdom. The, the kingdom? The kingdom. The heaven on earth, man. Right. The water, brother. Yeah. You got the heaven on earth, man. So Which, man this is this is about to be our heaven in a minute. All right. Because, hey, we're about to come into rulership, man. All right. Heaven is rulership. Hell is a condition. Plain and simple. Yeah. But you tell a, a, a Christian that. Yeah, shit. Shoo, like talking shit. To right over his head, head, man. Can't yeah. get it. Can't get it. Can't get it, man. Wisdom too high for a fool, man. Oh, yeah. man. A fool is the person that don't believe. Yeah. Yeah. I, got, uh, I got another quick one, real quick, bro. Yeah. This is uh, Ecclesiastes 12. And verse 7, it says, Then shall the dust return to the earth as it was, and the spirit shall return unto the Most High who gave it. Yeah. So what the, where the heaven and the hell at, man, when the Lord take that spirit back That's funny. To, the, to the spirit exactly. of the Most High who gave it? Come on, man. Don't say nothing about heaven. Don't say nothing about hell. None of that. Can't get it. Can't get around. That's at the spirit realm, man. Yeah. If, if I may add, uh, it's another scripture too. Uh, roughly quote. It says, uh, "There the um the um wicked in the trouble cease." Yeah, Job. Job. Yeah. I got that. I get that. They cease from troubling. Yeah, that's it. They cease from troubling. Yep. They in peace. That's why. Hey, that's why the wicked at rest. Even the wicked at rest. Yeah. rest in peace, man. That's that's real, man. Is everybody at peace? All spirits at peace, man. Thanks. When they out of this flesh, man. Which I all right. But when you come back on the earth, that's where it tell you in uh, Ecclesiastes. That's where the judgment is played out. Right. Yeah. All right. Back on the earth, man. Once again to play out your judgment. That's how hey, the Lord set this thing up. Perfect. Perfect. Ain't no getting away. So how you 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 know you got people. They believe like you know some of these elite, some of these uh, uh, upper echelon Edomites get away with doing something. No, they you're not getting away. Yeah, they gotta come back. No, I said, who said it does? <laughs> the Lord said they gotta the come back. Brother. Yeah, that spirit right. gonna come right back to the earth, man, and, and receive that judgment, man. Right, brother. Yep. This yeah, is, I got it. This is Job three and seventeen. There the wicked seized from troubling. And they're the weary be at rest. See, the kingdom of heaven. Well, not the kingdom of heaven, but in the spirit Fair world. Yep. We you have our Shemar shot. Mm -hmm. Because how the hell the wicked gonna be at rest? 
You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Come on, man. All the shit they done done, that's how you know judgment is, is played out on earth. You know? So where the fuck the, the hell and the heaven doctrine you come from? It's a fairy tale, man. Yeah. You know, our people is, 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 is in the hip, the ties mind. Yeah. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Going back to hip notes. They are uh, 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 losing, man. But it only it take you how about your mouth shot to bring you out of that. Yep. The Lord got to snap you out of that. You know what I'm saying? You can't do it on your own. Cause what's brought us, what brought, what brought us out of darkness to this marvelous light? Yeah, how about you now? Shot snap us out of it. Yep. You see that? Why everybody else still in their mindset? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They still in an illusion. It took you how about you now? Shot to snap us out of. Cause we was going to church. You know what I'm saying? We believe this. We were doing this and that. Until the Lord said, it's time to wake up. Now he put in our remembrance that we once knew this. You see? But to other, it was made a way, a snarl to them. That's a prayer for King David, man. Yeah. You know? But let's get the following piece that we all uh, throw that. Go ahead. This is Jeremiah 6 and 30. Reprobate silver shall men call them because the Lord have rejected them. Ooh, see that? What's that thing? Got it. Hey, you see that though, right? Because yeah. the Lord okay, have rejected them, man. Okay. I got you know? it. This is reprobate in the, uh, in the New Oxford American Dictionary. <laughs> A unprincipled person, often used humorously or affectionately, it say a sinner who is not of the elect mm -hmm. in his pre a sinner who is not of the elect. See, a sinner that is not of the elect, man. It's already written. You know what I'm saying? For the elect to be delivered and saved. It is written for two things about people to be destroyed. You know what I'm saying? So it said the uh, a sinner. A sinner. A sinner who is not of the elect. Because we all sinners. But it said a sinner that not of the elect. Wow. And it's predestined to damnation. And what is already written? It's already predestined. Preserved. Predestined. You know? Yeah. That's the judgment that you gotta yeah, get. Yeah, that, that's right? that, that, ain't that's, no heaven in here. There ain't no heaven in here. You destined for this, man. But the condition is gonna, you know, when the Lord judge you, you're gonna feel that condition. Then shall you know it after death by pain. Exactly, bro. Hey, the Lord called, bro. The wise scripture says a fearful thing fall to the hands of a living power. That's right. You don't want to be in the hands of how about your mouth shot, man. He can bring your greatest fears upon you. That's true hell. That's true hell. Yeah. So, so with that. I will be brothers and sisters edified. Once again, we give all honor and glory and power to. Yeah, how will by Shem, Yah, by Shem, by Shem, by Once a double honor to our elders, our great apostles, great ministers, all GMS, who rule well and teach well, be a great example of Israel, might be elected, and peace and blessed by open the leg of the fourth corner, putting the truth into the servant. I ain't a great song. Till next time, Shalom. 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 Off the ball. Off the ball. Rock hockey, man. Rock hockey. Hey, DTA, baby. DTA.